Well, not our sweet prince, but a sweet no. prince, the prince of Cincinnati. The Super Bowl is Sunday with the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Cincinnati Bengals in beautiful Los Angeles, just like we all predicted. We knew it would be in Los Angeles. We all predicted that. Uh, we did not necessarily all predict it would be the Rams and the Bengals, but here we are. If you bet on the Bengals to win the Super Bowl and you put $1,000 down, you have $80,000 possibly coming your way after Sunday. So we decided, and we've done this last year, to look at the popular prop bets, make some picks, see what happens. Maybe we'll do something goofy for the pod if the loser, you know, we'll do it. There's got to be some stakes. Yeah. So, uh, you know, this is the BX, BX or G. We're giving you that the left arm on the hug. Your Monday. Not really the here. extra anymore. It's just. No, it is. It's just the, you know, I like what, to episode it's 70. It's the weekend hug. I think this is episode <laughs> 78. 78. Yeah. So I am, uh, I am one of the co-hosts, Greg Filson. This is my co-host, Brenton Beswick. Brenton, how are you doing this Allegedly. fine Monday day? <laughs> Monday day. That's not when we record. It's like, I'll tell you what, man. It is so miserable out here. I've seen the weather. weather. Yeah, it's terrible. <clears throat> it's not good. And, uh, yeah, it's bad. But um, I am uh, ready to get into some of the prop bets. Yeah. Uh, some of the uh, some of the ones that are game related. Uh, who you know? Who all? Is who's what's in half time. Yeah. yeah you know the gatorade bath so on and so forth um there's yeah, always I mean, who's calling the games it's uh it's an nbc so, so al michaels and uh collinsworth. Uh, collinsworth yeah yeah i like chris collinsworth. that's a that's that's what you want that's what i you like want. You want i don't know why collinsworth gets the hate i like chris collinsworth i like chris collinsworth i mean he's my favorite of like the major ones Right. Uh, for sure. I mean, it's, you know, it's Collinsworth, it's Aikman, and it's Romo of the major. Yeah. Um, Romo was just at his ultimate worst this championship game weekend. I just couldn't stand it. But anyhow, whatever. Um, so yeah. we'll start off, you know, with the least important thing, the game itself. So the okay. Rams are a four and a half point, <laughs> a four yeah. and a half point favorite uh, going against Cincinnati. Uh, predictions, thoughts on, uh, on, this, <clears throat> on this line. I'm not a gambling person, so this is all feel for me. You know sure. what I mean? I don't know, yeah. you know, teasers and parlays and things of that nature. Uh, <clears throat> but I will say, just from a purely game perspective, it was it was much easier envisioning L.A. being here at the beginning of the season with, um, you know, the trade for Stafford, all the the star power. I mean, some people said that. Uh, Sean McVay might win the next five Super Bowls in a row. I have talked to that people is, who, yeah. <laughs> who, have, who have said that. Um, with that being said, uh, there's just something about Cincinnati, right? They go into yeah. they go into the number one seed stadium and take down the Titans. They go into Kansas City, Arrowhead Stadium, one of the loudest stadiums in the world. And they come back from what, 17-3? Yeah. To, to win that game. So I do like the Rams playing in their home stadium and all of that talent and all of that star power, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, but I'm going to take Cincy with the points. I'm, I would money line Cincinnati in this game. I don't A, know what that means. Okay, that means you take them the straight up win. Oh, okay, right. I, I am a wannabe degenerate gambler. I'm just scared of things, so I want it to be legal for me to gamble and not dealing with people. So when <laughs> I can legally online bet here in the beautiful state of California, I will do so. Um, right. Get your crap together with taxes. You can tax the hell out of this and make a ton of money, state of California. Right. Do this. You're doing it with weed. Do it with online gambling. Sure. Um, so I'm taking Cincinnati outright win. Two reasons. Los Angeles, that's not really a home field for them. I mean, it's kind of weird out here. Um, it's not really, you know, they're fresh to this area in a, in a scheme of things. 
when San Francisco was here last weekend, I mean, I know, I know way more San Francisco 49ers fans than I know, and they don't even play in San Francisco, but whatever. Right. Uh, then I know Rams fans. So yeah, I'm not saying since he's going to pack the stadium, but I think it's going to be like a split. I don't think it's going to be, you know, all Super Bowls are kind of split anyhow. So I don't really mm-hmm. think it's a huge home field advantage. And also Fiona, the hippo, um, the beautiful hippo in Cincinnati zoo, who's just adorable. Also picked the Bengals and she's a hippo and I right. can't go, you know, so I mean, they're doing cute. it for Harambe. And you're doing it for Harambe. Yeah. Our yeah. King, our, our sweet little Prince, two not princes. Our... <laughs> well, not our sweet Prince, but a sweet no. Prince, the Prince Thank of Cincinnati, right. um, Harambe and <laughs> Harambe who's dead. Fiona, who's very much alive. And Prince I'm going Phillip. with Bengals. I also do. And Prince Philip It's also for Prince Philip. Yeah. Going be, too soon. You know, yeah. Gone, gone way too soon. Gone way too uh, soon. So I, I didn't, I thought you were going to go Rams. That's why I like, but you know, I, I think we're, I think we're okay here. Um, I, I do think this line is very skewed much, especially since since he beat Kansas city, that was weird to me that this line was four and a half. This is a, this is in the Vegas zone where they're not even sure what's going to happen in this game. So I, I'm thinking money line Cincinnati. Here's the thing. I'll, I'll do this, Brenton, to split the difference. Cincinnati has to outright win for me to win. Mm-hmm. You just have to cover. Okay. Yeah. Very good. <clears throat> All right. So uh, it moves us on. It moves us on. Uh, keeping with the football game itself, uh, the Super Bowl MVP odds, uh, Matthew Stanford c- clear, uh, right now has the – uh, lowest odds or the highest odds to win, lowest odds, however you want to look at it, plus 105. And then it goes to Joe Burrow, Cooper Cup, Jamar Chase, Aaron Donald, and then Odell Beckham Jr. at uh, plus 2,500. And if you want to go off the board, you're more than welcome to. Um, anyone off the board, but anything, anyone here stick out to you? Uh, you- I, I think Cooper Cup for mm-hmm. me uh, is, it's so hard for a wide receiver to win because you know if Cooper Cup throw or uh, catches two touchdowns for 150 yards, well Stafford's the one that got him the ball. You right. know what I mean? But I think the thing that that kind of plays into Cooper Cup's favorite is is that I like I said I do think the Rams are going to win. I think the Bengals cover. Uh, but I think that Stafford's going to throw a boneheaded pick or two. Yes. Because he's Matt Stafford. That's what he does. So yeah, I'm gonna go with um I'm gonna go with Cooper Cup and then kind of like my maybe like my sort of dark horse is if Aaron Donald has a, a game where he just absolutely terrorizes Joe Burrow, then maybe we could see him. But this your defensive you're, okay. linemen are never like that's that's not I mean it's super <laughs> rare. I mean Vaughn Miller won. Uh, against the Panthers, but usually if it's a defensive guy, it's because you know they had like a pick six or yeah. whatever. Yeah, or or it's like you know it's uh, Desmond Howard who also kick you know return kickoffs. Yeah, and right. So, so yeah, um, mind Joe Burrow. I mean, if Cincinnati is going to win, it's because of Joe. It's on Joe. He got sacked nine times and still won a game. Uh, so Aaron Donald could have four sacks in this game. Doesn't necessarily mean that you know Joe Burrow doesn't win this game. True. So that's, that's where I'm going with. Um, I, but I actually feel the same way. Air, uh, Joe Burrow is my number one. Aaron Donald is my two. Because mm-hmm. I think if that's what's going to decide it. Like either Aaron Donald gets a, to him a lot and has four. He, there's a, I literally wouldn't be surprised if he had four or five sacks in this game because yeah. Cincinnati's offensive line is so bad. But Joe Burrow could still throw for 370 yards. And it doesn't matter if he throws – unless Jamar Chase has four touchdowns, I just don't see how he could win because Joe Burrow also there's like, there's always the mystique and stuff behind the guy too. So Joe Burrow's everyone's kind of really high on him. So Mm -hmm. Joe Burrow is my pick on this. Uh, I just real quick want to touch on the fact that I don't like the Cooper cup looks like one of the Paul brothers. He does look like one of the Paul brothers. Especially like when you get into like the second quarter and he's had his helmet on, he's sweating. Oh yeah, he mm-hmm. looks exactly like the Paul brothers. It's he, he is a yeah, Paul brother light. I don't like that, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Doesn't diminish my opinion of him. Sure, he's still gonna, good. He's still the best receiver in the league. Yeah, so. right. Okay, right. 
Uh, so we'll move on from the game to what's actually important, all the other stuff. Uh, so Mickey Guyton will be doing the uh, national anthem. And that's always, you know, that's always very controversial. People are really tying that together. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the over under is 95 seconds. And Brent, where, where would you like, where do you think this is going to go? Who is this person? <clears throat> She's an American singer. This is who. Um... She is shook she... to be singing the national anthem, apparently. She, uh, she played Whiplash in Iron Man 2. Uh, not the right Mickey. Uh, she has songs, love my hair, black, like me, remember her name, all American. She is 38 years old and she was born in Arlington, Texas. Does she want water? <laughs> no, apparently not. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I bet she's good because usually if we don't know the person, then they're usually way better than the people we know at doing this so my guess is she's really good so that may or may not how long does it usually take to uh normal person saying the national i think if you normally do it it takes about 90 seconds a good cadence then i'm gonna go under but i want you to know one thing Mm. their own better (laughs) uh i'm gonna go i'm gonna go over because I think she's good at singing. I don't know anything about her. So I think she's good. She's going to she's gonna stretch out some notes. She's, this is her time to shine because nobody knows who she is. So she's going to stretch out a couple notes there. And I'm looking forward to it. Um, I don't normally, I'm an anti anything other than the game. I'm a, that kickoff, we're done. Usually it's talk to Tom Brady about winning the Super Bowl. That's how my life normally been. And that's how I uh, like my life. Unfortunately, he's just selling pant now. So I can't. He's on a nice anywhere pant, um, so it's a little weird for me. But I'm gonna go over. I think she's gonna stretch the old vocal cords, get her out there. I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be. I think this is gonna be one of those national anthems we like. Oh, okay, maybe a little, maybe some gooseys, little gooseys. I think she's gonna be. I think she's gonna kill it. Okay, um, we'll move on to continue with the singing. Continue with the singing. Um, who the halftime performance, which a lot of people are. I, this is one of those performances. I think most of the performances, you know, people eh, or whatever with this, this is either you're all in or you're all out. I yeah. like people I've talked to. It's, it's, it's not even necessarily age. It's just a lot of different factors. So we have Mary J. Racism. Blige. Could be that. Um, it's probably that. Oh, or you just don't like rap music. I mean, that's, you know, if you don't like rap music, you don't like rap music, whatever. Um, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, and Eminem. In that order, that's the odds of who will perform first. Who do you think we're going to hear? I'm going to give you the order that I think that they're going to come out in. Okay. that's okay, I So that'll thing, include yeah. the answer to that question. Yeah. Right. Uh, I think Kendrick's first. I think then it's Mary J. Blige. Uh, and then I think it's Eminem. Then I think it's Snoop. And then I think Dre. Okay. Um, I think it's going to be Eminem first. Hmm. I think it's just going to, whatever, you know, lose yourself, something like that. Get hard, hard, heavy. I think we're going to go Eminem first. Then I think it's going to be Mary J, um, Kendrick, Dr. Dre, and then Snoop. I think hmm. Snoop's your last guy to go. I don't think. I think Dre's LBC. The I mean, he's just going to. I mean, it's Snoop's land. It's Snoop's, you know, Compton too, in, but. Yeah, I mean, it is Englewood, it, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, so I, I think Snoop's the last to go. Yeah, but the thing I, is. Here's why I think Dre will be last is because <laughs> Snoop has been more in the actual, like, public consciousness now, especially because. That That's why I think he's show. last. See, I don't think. I think it's a bigger deal that Dre's back. My thing is, this is, if this wasn't the Super Bowl, if this was something else like the Grammys, mm-hmm. then Dre's last. I think because of the Super Bowl, Snoop is because at the very, like, you know, people know Snoop from commercials. So, like, he comes on last and like, oh, I know him from Martha Stewart, or I know him from this. Right. So that's why I have that. See, I, um, think, I do have Eminem first. I with the longest that, odds, by the way. I, but right. I have him first. Yeah, I think Dre's last, and I think that, that it's forgot about Dre. That'd be sick. I also, yeah. I don't understand why Eminem is the longest odds because he's the furthest person away from. He's the most popular, like, though. Historically. Is he? Like, 
over time. Is he more popular than Snoop? Over time, yes. As a human being? No, but as a rapper. I, but Super Bowl is more about the, uh, the human aspect than... I don't know. You know, so we'll see. I mean, I think so, Kendrick's first because he's the youngest. Also the uh, best. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't necessarily disagree with you. Yeah. Um, but I think Kendrick's, I love Snoop. Snoop's I, I think my second Kendrick's, favorite on this list, but I think Kendrick's first because he's the youngest and it's like playing Hungry Hungry Hippos or whatever. Sure, the youngest, sure. the youngest always goes first. <laughs> um, this one's, I think, pretty straightforward and I think a pretty easy answer. But will all five performers team up for a song? I guess, but I don't know how that works. I don't know how it works either. Unless it's an original like, song. Which would be wild. Yeah. I mean, if that happens, because these are also five, five people that pretty much everyone likes. I mean, if you don't like Eminem, there's because of like other reasons, whatever. Sure. But, you know, if you like rap music, I should say, you like all five of these people. Like mm-hmm. there's no, there's no disagreement there. They're all very talented in that. So I feel like they have to, I mean, it just be, how do you do this without them doing one? It may only be for 30 seconds, but they still are teaming up. So I will also go yes there too. Um, well, I, I think, think that's too, just, it's how do you really quantify that? Because that's the thing about the Super Bowl performances is that it's really just a medley. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So there's probably going to be like some medley mashup. It's not going to be like, okay, you know, Dre's going to do nope. Forgot About Dre, and then Snoop's going to do Gin and Juice, and then Kendrick's going to do, you know, whatever, and then Eminem's going to do Lose Yourself, and yeah. it's not going to be like that. You're going to get like 35 seconds of each song pushed together, basically. What's your favorite uh, Super Bowl performance in your lifetime? I mean, that you actually, actually remember. I don't I- watch a lot of them. Okay, because that's fair. I, understand. I usually like I'm usually cooking or like looking Same. at stats. Yeah. If I'm, I'm I've never been real big on the the halftime performances. I just don't <clears throat> particularly care. Honestly, probably the best one that I can remember maybe is Katy Perry. Prince is mine. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. Um, everyone, like a lot of people go with Michael Jackson. I was seven. I don't right. even know if I watched that Super Bowl. You sure. know what I mean? Like I probably did, but I don't remember it. Prince is mine. Uh, and Lady Gaga is right up there. That was great. Coming from the ceiling. Okay. Yeah. That was a um, joke, by the way. When she did the thing where oh, she yeah, like, that was a did this. Joke. Yeah, it wasn't. It was like, actually, it looked like somebody they jumping off kill the top Lady of Gaga. A, looked like somebody jumping off the top of a steel cage. A yeah, that was very match. funny. It was very funny. Um, so bad. And then I like, I actually, I was shocked to see this one, but I think I understand why they did it because it's rap music and it's quicker. Um, how many songs will be performed? The over under is seven and a half, Brendan. We're talking um, about 12 and a half minutes, probably, of an actual performance. I'll go over. I'm going to go, I'm going to go under. I'm going to say yeah. seven, seven. Nah, exactly. I'm going to go, I'm going to go over. Cause okay. if they all do one of their own songs, you figure they're all going to do one of their own songs. Right. And then there will be something with Dre and Snoop has to be. And then you figure there's going to be a M and M and Dre song. So that gets you to seven. I mean, I think you want two Kendrick songs, don't you? I would want to, but I, you know, right. I just, you know, these things are always kind of a mess too. I always yeah. feel like, so yeah. my thing is seven because something isn't exactly on point and they have to like revise it. Um, this is just a funny one to me I, because I loved it. It was just on here. It, I wouldn't have put this on, but it was in one of like, it actually appeared on three lists and it's like, okay. well, if it appears on three lists, people are actually betting it. Will Eminem make a political statement? I'm going to say with his apparel. That's that's what I was gonna say. So yeah, yeah it's yes, with his clothes. He's not gonna he's not say gonna, anything, but yeah, he's not gonna yeah. say anything. But he will with his um, or maybe in a song where he changes a lyric. It's possible, you know yeah. I mean? But like I this. think it's apparel, and I think it's very brief. 
Like, I think yeah. he does something where, like, he opens up his leather jacket and it says something. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, and then everybody pauses it and they make a big fuss about it. Kind of like how Janet Jackson, that was a big fuss, even though nobody actually saw it live. They all yeah. paused it after <clears throat> that was uh, TiVo back in the day. Yeah, that was Pat's, Pat's Panthers. It was. Great yeah. Super Bowl. They're not um, that great. Well, that was a little exciting. And then, uh, what's your favorite food for the Super Bowl, Brenton? Um, I usually make queso, like nice, queso okay, dip. and then uh, some side, you know, side stuff. I I think we talked about this last year actually, but I make we like did, a, yeah. I make like a BLT popper. I love the sound is, of this thing. Yeah, it's just like a hollowed out uh, cherry tomato, maybe not a cherry, but a little bit bigger. Uh, hollow that out, and then you put in just you know bacon, lettuce, and mayonnaise. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm doing a little R&D. Um, we're we're going to watch this game at Janie's parents' house. Yeah. I did a little R&D this week on a uh, buffalo chicken pizza with fake chicken because Janie's vegetarian. Probably something on that. I do love I do love a buffalo chicken aspect, whether it's a buffalo chicken dip or something like that. I do like – I'm a big dip guy. For, I'm, I actually – this is how I prefer Super Bowl. You're never actually eating a meal. You're just kind of constantly snacking. That's how I like a Super Bowl. I like constantly snack. Any big thing, whether it's a award show, because if you have a meal, you might miss something. I like just constantly like you got you got maybe a TV in one room, TV in another room. You're just ears eating something. I'm a. Yeah. I've said this before, and I've had people tell me this at weddings. I'm like Brad Pitt in the Ocean's movies. I'm always eating something. Gotta be gotta be eating something. I gotta. I've had this happen at your wedding. At your wedding. Yeah, you're the only happened. one that got any cake. Not yeah, how I was disappointed I was. I was sitting by my nobody knew where I was at at your wedding. And then Melissa found me and she's like, Are you okay? I was, I'm just eating cake. Yeah. I just like by myself. We all knew where you were when it was time for the uh the garter toss and the put back on. I'm your guy for that. Yeah, that shit almost got X-rated. How I do things yeah. at your wedding. That wasn't you know, I mean, that not anymore. Have not anymore. Come on, like, you. That, that had less to do with you than it was the person who caught the bouquet. <laughs> that is true. Who was it? I don't even remember at this point. We'll talk about it off, off camera. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I, you know, no, nothing, you know, I'm a, yeah. Hey, you know what? I'm a kind, caring man. We we'll never do anything to insult anyone physically or emotionally. I also like a, a rack of ribs. Oh, for, that's for good. Big game. Yeah. Case you know, if, rack if, of ribs. If it was just more than the people I was doing, I probably would do like a uh, a nice, you know what I would like to do at some point in my life? Full pig roast. Just a mm. whole pig. That'd be fun. Someday in my life, I'll do a full pig roast. We'll just get after it. Brenton, you'll come out here. We'll, get, we'll talk we'll about get that off camera too. Bob here. We'll do the whole thing. Um, and then finally, which wraps up the game and wraps up this podcast, the, Gatter- the Gatorade bath. A Super Bowl tradition is also one of its most popular exotic props. Um, you know, orange has been the most popular color over the years, and it leads the colors this year. Um, so it's orange, none, or blue. So no, no color. No color. Uh, like there's the, clear the Gatorade. White, the white. The, it, it's the clear Gatorade. Okay. It's like the lightning. Or, I haven't drank. I haven't had yeah. a Gatorade it's in a, years. Blue's 400, not 40. Uh, four, 400, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. I'm gonna go light blue, the light blue. You know, I'm going off the board. Purple. Mm. I love a purple Gatorade. At least ten years ago, fifteen years ago, I, I, <laughs> I haven't had. I literally couldn't tell you last night a Gatorade. The mm. best flavor of Gatorade, though, lemon lime, the OG. It's pretty good. It's because it still has that salty element, which is yeah. like the whole point of the hydration. Like right. that's why it's <laughs> the best. I but, wish they still. Make it? Did they make it in glass bottles? In because that's the only way to have no. Gatorade. No, that's too bad. No, because that was the best way to have Gatorade. That or in cans. I don't know if they make the cans no. either. Cans? No, I've never seen a Gatorade in a can. Oh my gosh, it's the best! If you can find Gatorade in a can, put it mm-hmm. in your freezer for about twenty minutes, really mm-hmm. chill it down. Oh, it's the best, Jerry. The best. <laughs> I like fruit punch, and then I also like the uh, the light blue. I don't drink them a lot. It's just like a, like if I'm, 
like need hydration because they're worse for you than pop unless you're a world-class athlete yeah you have to be expelling thousands of calories yeah if you if you just need to have hydration because you're you know dehydrated or you're hungover you gotta have a pedialyte um which i mean i'm never really at that case i'm a hydrated person but i will say (laughs) that this is for you kids out there Okay. Yeah. This is for you yeah. young. This is for you younger guys. I don't know. Younger guys and gals. I don't know if this is probably good advice or not. Uh, if you are making mixed drinks and you mix them with Gatorade, you won't have a hangover. You won't have a hangover. So it's not like you're trying to come back from a hangover. You just won't have one. Now your drink's going to taste like shit, but let's be honest. You're not drinking it for the taste. Yeah, if right. you're young, you don't yeah. care about any of that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good tip, Brenton. I will also I will suggest a couple other things just on the drink front. Mm. Um, start light and easy. Yeah. Okay, it's a long day, <clears throat> especially especially if you're on the East Coast because mm. you don't have that game till six thirty. Right. I get it at three thirty, perfect time for a game. By the way, three thirty yeah. is perfect time for a game because you can sit back, you can get yourself going. You have the game midday, and then afterwards you still watch a movie. So you still got you got a nice little day. Take it easy. Start light. If you if you're a, a Miller Light guy, I don't like Miller Lights, but if you like a Miller Light, have a few of those during the day. Don't get in the cocktails till late. I say halftime. If you're bummed out about the the halftime show, go ahead make yourself a nice. This is too another another tip. Nice strong cocktail, so it's a little harder to drink. Mm. Old fashioned. Let me a little gin martini. Uh, if you like a highball, a little higher ratio than normal. Um, if you if you don't drink, I would suggest a uh, you know just a nice a- like apple cider, something fizzy. You want something mm. fizzy, you know, because mm. you want the bubbles working against that food. That's my tips. Mm. Something fizzy, yeah. you know. I like a you know I, I prefer for me during if I'm watching a game. Of course, I like a craft beer. Um, I also like a gin and tonic, something, you know, not too heavy, not too light. Those are tips, right. but that's our Super Bowl show. Jamison um, Ginger Ale to go. I don't like this place. I don't like that chair. I don't like the music you're playing. I want my drink in a cup. Take it out on the street with me. We got a goddamn parade out here. Half Blue Ribbon. Uh, that's our Super Bowl show. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you enjoy yeah. the game. Uh, yeah. I know I will. I love I love Super Bowl Sunday, no matter who's playing. Uh, it's you know this is our uh, dedication to Tom Brady. Great career. I'm not great career. Seven Super Bowls. One no. of the you know the, the greatest quarterback of all time. I don't uh, care for one him. of the greatest people of all time. Oh come on. Has come a now. nice has a nice a nice pant for sale. And uh, God bless you. Oh, Tom Brady. I'm Tom Brady and I don't play football anymore. So I'm selling <laughs> these pantaloons. <laughs> he's selling these pantaloons. Uh, good for him, though. Selling pantaloons. I hope, like I hope that when like I'm 44. In the Shire. Yeah, I hope when I'm 44, that's my job is selling pantaloons online. And I'm just at home with my, you Look know, my beautiful pantaloons. wife, Janie. Um, yeah, so that's that's the Super Bowl show. We hope you enjoy. Tell your friends, tell your family. I don't like Tom Brady. I love Tom Brady. Pantaloons. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Just, that's just great. I love my pantaloons. I love my pantaloons. Enjoy the Super Bowl commercials. Doritos first commercial. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.